Hey guys, welcome back to Cooking with Anadi. Today we'll be making a really delicious fusion dish which will be a shrimp and orzo curry. I've gone through so many recipes to find my favorite one but every time there was something that I found was missing. One day I was like, forget it, I'm just gonna make it myself. And I made this a few weeks ago and I loved it. And today I'm gonna share that recipe with you guys. So let's get started right now. So I have a pan here heating on medium heat. I'm going to add in about a tablespoon of mustard oil. Now mustard oil is the really strong oil and if you don't cook it properly, your end product will end up tasting really bitter. So what you want to do when you cook with Indian mustard oil is you want to heat it until it starts smoking. Once it starts smoking, the bitter taste would just go away. During my last trip to India, I took notes on a lot of recipes which my family makes. And I noticed most of these dishes were being made with mustard oil being the base. And in the past when I've tried to recreate my family recipes, I used olive oil or vegetable oil and it, I could never really replicate that exact flavor. But ever since I've been like incorporating mustard oil in my cooking, it's really coming out and I'm really loving it. If you're curious about if mustard oil is safe or how to use it, you can click the link down below and learn more about it and keep your mind at ease. So as you can see, my oil is smoking right now. Now once that begins, I'm gonna lower the heat just a little bit so I don't burn my ingredients. So once the oil has heated, I'm gonna add in some black cardamom and green cardamom and toast it for a few seconds, followed by cumin seed and really toast it. What I find really cool when these cardamoms are cooked is like they puff up so uh, much. Then I'm gonna add in some chopped onion followed by finely chopped ginger and garlic. Now give this a nice mix and cook until your onions are lightly brown and your mixture is really fragrant and delicious. So the onions are nicely browned now. So next, I'm going to add in all of my tomatoes. So all of that is good to nice mix. Now the exciting part, we're going to add all our spices in. You can see I love tomatoes just by how many I'm putting in this dish. It's just too good. So first add your ground cumin, ground coriander, a bit of turmeric, for that bright yellow color, a little bit of Kashmiri red chili powder, to give it some more redness and finally for some extra heat it's completely optional some cayenne pepper at this point i also want to add in my salt to really help cook down those tomatoes so tomatoes are really nicely melted now i'm gonna add some freshly chopped chilies for some extra heat and a bite give this a nice mix and this mixture is almost ready for the next stage. So the mixture has become a little dry now. I'm gonna add in my orzo pasta right about now. And then just mix it, cook it for about one minute. Just dry until it gets slightly toasted. I'm gonna add in hot water and bring it up to a boil. Now I'm gonna cook the pasta. And it's gonna cook in that delicious spicy tomato broth which we've just created and all that flavor is gonna go inside our pasta. While the water is coming up to a boil, heat a non-stick pan. I'm gonna add the rest of my mustard oil into this pan and again cook this oil out until it's smoking. So into our oil here, we're gonna add in some cumin seeds and just cook that out until it's reddish brown. And then into this, I'm gonna add in my Boiled potatoes, which I've cubed. You just cook this out until it gets a little bit of color and becomes slightly yellow. What's gonna help in that process is some turmeric. So let's add a hint of turmeric. Give this a nice mix. It's a similar process, by the way make a really popular Indian dish 
called jira aloo or cumin spiced potatoes. So I'll get to that in some other video. These potatoes look really nice. We're getting a really nice color on them. It's gonna add some crispiness. Our water has come up to a boil. I'm gonna lower the heat to medium to medium low. And just cook this, stirring every one to two minutes to make sure nothing is getting stuck at the bottom until the pasta is cooked to al dente. The pasta is almost cooked. I just tasted it for seasoning. It needs a bit more salt. So let's add that right now. Now the final part. I'm gonna sprinkle in some fresh green peas your coconut milk. Finally, put in your shrimps. And then finally, your potatoes. Now lower the heat and cover your pan. And we're just gonna let the steam cook the shrimp for us. So just leave this for about five minutes. Ta-da! Papa! Let's check the shrimp. That's a well done shrimp. Okay, food is ready. Now let's serve. So there you have it guys. I find this to be a really delicious, wholesome meal, which is easy to make for a big family. You can easily adjust the spice preference based on your tastes. And if you're a tomato lover and a pasta lover like me, you're gonna absolutely love this dish. Plus I love the unique combination of Indian with this orzo pasta and shrimp. So if you guys like this video, let me know that you did by liking down below or leaving a comment. And if you want to see more videos like this or any other recipe ideas, leave it down in the comment down below and I'll be sure to work on that. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel to see more awesome videos like this by clicking the link right up here. Until then, I'll see you guys again on the next one.